Good morning, it's Tom. It's Tuesday, I'm here in Macon. Uh, say hey, everybody. Hey! Got the uh, leadership meeting going on. Of course, we have um, the county directors here, regional folks, OFI. And I want to take a few moments to start off to talk about a very basic unit, especially since we've got the county directors here. So how do we interact with the public? We talk a lot about the fact that we interact from the case manager and the direct line supervisor and the person who's on the front line working directly with the public. But the basic unit through which we work is the county. I think we're required by law to have an office of some sort in each county, each of the 159 counties in the state. And so it's really important that we have really good county leadership and OFI regional leadership so that we can make sure that we are uh, getting good customer service at that county level. And I think if you talk to the average Georgian and they, you say, where is defects, they would talk about their county defects and not some state office. So I want to thank you all for the work you do especially county directors, in making sure that our, each of our county offices is uh, the best that it can be and that you're reaching out to the public. And so we can do that, of course, in the way we do customer service, in the way we treat people who walk in the front door, in the way we work with our community partners through our State of Hope program, uh, and the way we connect with our local family connection, our local schools, our local law enforcement, to make sure that we are a critical part of serving the vulnerable uh, families in each of our 159 counties in the state. Um, I also wanted to give you, with that in mind, I want to talk a little bit about some business. I don't usually use my notes, you know, but we've got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, one of the things we have going on right now is, uh, is in the area of OFI. So we need to make sure that folks understand that this weekend, March 2nd, our SNAP beneficiaries are going to get half of their SNAP benefits. Uh, and then, of course, they'll get the remaining half of their SNAP benefits uh, at the sort of the regular date during the month. And I think one of the issues we're going to have is people are going to be confused. Why am I just getting half of my benefits? Why am I, am I getting my benefits early? Um, so we just need to make sure that we're communicating consistently on that. The other issue is that we all know that months have passed, but how many of y'all from southwest Georgia? Okay. Um, we, we know that southwest Georgia is still hurting from Hurricane Michael back in the fall. And so we are going to now roll out an additional benefit for families that were affected by that hurricane in the disaster declared counties, and that's disaster TANF. And that will be a one-week program We'll have a one-week eligibility window from March 4th through March 15th. This is going to be a one-time cash benefit to assist the families that were affected by Hurricane Michael, uh, and especially as they, we continue to try to get that area of the state back up to speed. There was an article uh, or a story on NPR yesterday about how uh, the, apparently the Congress did not allocate a, some additional recovery benefits for that area after Michael, and so the more that we can do uh, with our TANF benefits, the, um, the better off those folks will be in getting back on their feet. Um, those who meet the eligibility requirements will receive one lump sum payment based on family size, and that will be uh, a four-month TANF benefit, essentially. And so, you know, we did, we did this with disaster staff. It was a, everybody, you know, jumped in. Uh, everybody came to the, to the rescue and helped us get all those uh, applications processed. Fortunately, we don't have to, to necessarily man up the way we did uh, last time. We can actually do this through a mail-in process. And so uh, you won't have to have families come to the county office for service. However, it is going to be important that we make sure that we are very consistent in our messaging. Uh, John Anderson and his folks are going to be sending out uh, sort of proper signage, proper messaging, and so let's please make sure that we're using that consistently. Um, our OFI administrators had the benefit of some attending some OFI quality summits this past week. Uh, I think the supervisors get a chance this week. Uh, we are uh, really working hard on quality in the area of OFI, timeliness and accuracy. And of course, we can't forget we have the legislative session going on. Um, in our current upcoming budget, uh, the 
uh, it looks like we're going to be getting about $750,000 for uh, additional data analysis on child welfare, so we'll be able to better get the data we need to triage our cases. Uh, we also are going to uh, have about $504,000 to help uh, with getting our providers adjusted to the changes that are coming with the Family First Prevention Services Act, in addition to $3 million for Shines upgrades associated with that, and another $438,000 for, uh, um, for a specific team in the 20 budget. Uh, last week, we, uh, we testified um, on, with, in front of uh, Chairman Dempsey. Uh, she is putting together a statewide uh, data initiative. I think it's going to be a data analysis unit, which I think throughout the state will help all of us and state agencies do a better job of seeing what data we have and how we can uh, use that data to to better serve the public and the citizens of Georgia. Uh, we have the, uh, the State of Hope applications that are going to be open until March 29th. We need to encourage our local organizations in our counties to apply for that. And finally, we are looking forward to going down to Effingham County on March 28th for a town hall meeting. The community leaders and, and we are gonna get together down there and we're gonna bring in some of our statewide partners who are doing interesting work around the state in engaging with churches, with community groups, with schools, and see how we can help the folks in Effingham County better understand how they can help uh, their, own, their own folks and, and, and really improve their community relationships. they got a great relationship down there already with their community partners, but we're gonna see what we can do to perhaps even boost that further. Um, so that's my talk for today. Everybody say thank you. Thank you. See y'all.